What's up? Um, welcome to COVID-19, aka coronavirus pandemonium. I am in Johannesburg, or Tambo Airport. I'm in a detention center with my wife. And um, I, well, my wife and I can't enter the country. I mean, I can enter by myself because I'm South African. Um, but my wife can't enter because of her German passport. And here's how it doesn't make sense. They won't l let her enter because she has a passport um, from a high-risk country. Right, um, but she hasn't been to Germany since she was 15. She hasn't been to Europe, England included, since last year, August. We've been in Africa, South Africa, the whole time. Zanzibar, South Africa, Rwanda, South Africa. All of these places are not high-risk places but we're at the airport and we're not allowed in to South Africa. Um, because of the corona pandemonium. If they were truly afraid of her bringing the virus, they'd only be concerned with where she'd been um, and carry on using her German entry visa as sufficient, but she can't. So anyway, here we are in a detention center and they're trying to force us to fly out of the country to go elsewhere that is not home to either of us um, and, and if we don't choose to leave the next available option is that we will be treated as high-risk individuals we will be detained in this detention center, our rights stripped away from us. Um, we're going to have our phones taken away. We're in the airport, but we can't get anywhere out of these walls here. Literally, this is how our life is going to look. Like that. And that's pretty much how it's going to look indefinitely until the corona... Um, until the corona situation has been sorted. So this could be months, who knows? Um, so if anyone tries to get a hold of me and they can't, that's because I'm detained and my phone is going to be taken away. I'm going to be treated like a terrorist. I don't know why. I'm going to be treated like a person that is an endanger to South Africa, perhaps. Um, both of us are gonna get treated like that. And I just wanted to put this out there so that our minister knows, our president knows, um, that some of the steps that we've taken as a country, yes, we understand because we want to keep the country safe, but um, they're not actually taking care of its people, the world. Um, and you might want to revisit some of these decisions that we've taken, these steps, these laws that you made in haste overnight 48 hours ago um, because they're crippling your people. I'm fucked right now. I'm, I'm obviously not going to leave the airport and leave my wife to go get sent to either Germany or England or Rwanda by herself. So I'm stuck here. We are stuck here. And um, it's pretty shit. And I'd love it if somebody of authority would revisit some of these steps. And if anyone that loves, cares, knows me, is trying to reach out to me, understand that that's what's going on.